Well, guys, you might want to have your volume up for this one. This is yeah Buddy's GMC Denali, and it is one of the best-sounding trucks that I have heard in SnowRunner in a very long time. Let me fire it up so you guys can hear how it sounds. It sounds so good. It sounds so incredibly next level. It even does a little rev on startup. I absolutely love it. Now, one quick thing that I want to get out of the way with this thing right now is the fact that it is a work-in-progress mod, and it is also a private work-in-progress mod at the moment. And if you would like more info on how you might be able to get your hands on this truck later on down the road, more information on that will be available on Yabuddy's Discord, which I will have linked in the description box down below. But let's get this thing into the garage, do a little bit of customization work to it, and then we'll take it out for uh, some adventures. So let's go ahead and recover it into the garage and see what kind of customization options we have on this truck. Now, I'm pretty sure that we won't be able to necessarily go through uh, all of them because that would require probably building a hundred of these things or more. But let's see, we've got the upgraded or the big tune. I, I am intrigued by the big tune. The big tune sounds interesting. Now, we have stock, highway, and off-road transmissions. I'm thinking about going for the highway one because it probably is going to have a mixture of highway gears as well as your low-range stuff. Now, it comes with a towing setup as standard, but you also have lift one, lift two, and lift three. Now, as of right now, since this is a work in progress mod, um, those don't have descriptions yet, but I'm assuming this one's probably more of a flexi style setup, and this one, well, I'm not sure. Not completely sure on that one. I'm going to leave this one on the tow setup, though, because we're going to build another one with one of the other modified suspension types. Now, tires-wise, you're going to start off on some 38s, and it's the generic off-road tire duels that you start off with. However, let's start at the bottom of the selection of 38s. Now, we have these uh, these custom tires. You have Rockzilla's. You have Mickey Thompson's. Those look like uh, Baja MTZs. And I believe, yeah, you can also single-wheel convert this truck if you would like. So, oh, you can do some Baja KRs, make this thing a desert truck. That'd be wild. You got your, oh, you got your, like, Ridge Rapplers right here. That's actually really, really cool to have those. Now, these are almost, oh, dude, the 38-inch Baja Pros, if I build, oh, the KR3s as well. If I build a single-wheel version of this truck, it's going to be really hard to not turn it into, like, a desert truck-style rig. Now, oh, my God, the freaking Assassinator Duels. These are, these are going to be your, like, ag-style uh, mud, ter like, not mud terrain, but just mud tire-style setup. Pitbull Duels. Let's see, then you go up from a 38 to a 43, and then the list repeats, and I wonder how big the tires on this thing go right now. Okay, so 43s. Now, let me find... Oh, I'm really digging the way those Pitbull duels look. They look really, really, really good. Really good. Now, since this one is going to be a dually setup, it's going to be kind of more of your, your hauling rig um, the, that's going to be designed to haul the other one around. We're going to probably stick with a dual setup, like, but a wide dual setup on this truck. And then we've already got the winch taken care of. Snorkel, it's definitely going to get one. And then here's where it starts to get interesting. So if you want to tow like the base game semi-trailers, you have your saddle high, saddle low, dually bed, single wheel bed, and then let's see, cooler front seat. Yo, you could have literally like a cooler chilling out in the front seat. That's awesome. Hitch. Ch let's see. Oh, that's going to be like an adventure rack. Then you have your chase rack. Definitely going to throw that up there because that looks incredible. Um, and then I think I'm going to do a... I'm probably going to just stick with the dually bed for now. And then front bumper, you have the stock one. Then you have bumper one. Wait, hold on. Bumper two, three, four, and five. I recognize these bumpers, but they look sick on this truck. They look so good. Now, I think just to keep in the style, like keep with the style of this particular build, I'm going to leave the stock bumper on there because I really do like how it ties the truck together. And let's see. Oh, you can go for the red, light, red headlights. Yes, please. Um, the light bar, I'm not going to use because I've already got the chase rack up there, but I will do the left and right pods. And then these particular uh, tires can only come with the Mavericks, but the Mavericks look great anyway. And he may also add more options to that later on down the road. Holy crap, does it look incredible in just about every color. I actually really like this bluish gray. There's something really nice about that. But then again, this olive green is also really nice as well. And that's kind of like a, almost like a seafoam-ish green. I mean, I, I don't know if I would call it full-on seafoam green, but like, oh, the dark red. That's almost like, that's kind of borderline maroon, actually. That's, 
Oh, they all look so good. I'll probably go with this gray, like the bluish gray. I really, really like it. Dang, that looks gorgeous. You've got your spare tire in there. You've got actually like your off-road jack. You've got your spare fuel canisters. Just about everything that you would ever need. Plus, you got your lunch and whatever other drinks you brought in your passenger seat. So let's fire this thing up and get a trailer behind it. Dude, the sound when you take off is gnarly. All right, so let's find ourselves a short flatbed gooseneck lifted. Also, these little scout trailers look awesome behind it because it's got like an actual drop hitch that it can run as well. Short flatbed gooseneck. Where's the... There it is. Flatbed gooseneck lifted. That actually lines up just about exactly where you'd want it to. And you can raise the rear for when you put your, um, for when you put your weight on the trailer. For now, I think we're going to lower it back down, though, and I'm going to back this thing up and drop the ramps. So let's get you backed up just a tad. Let me ease you back the other way. And that should be about good enough. All right, ramps down and stop the engine, and we're going to go ahead and head back into the garage. Oh, my God. Back into the garage, please. My controller lately, like, the down button on the D-pad has decided that it just doesn't want to, uh... It just doesn't want to exist anymore. So I don't know why it just like, it will go every way except down. And it's just, it's very strange. All right, big tune is going on. Highway box is going in. And then now I'm going to experiment with some of these lift options because I'm going to start probably with lift one and then we'll go from there. We are going to do some big singles on this thing. And I think it's probably going to be, oh, I'm so back and forth though on what I want to do. I, I am so incredibly back and forth on what I want to do. I think I'm going to run the Baja KRs. I don't run those very often, but they look incredible. Now, snorkel is going on for sure. And it's going to be a single bed. And, God, that is such a long bed, though. Genuinely, like, that is incredibly long. I think I'm going to run the... How does that rack look? Okay, yeah, we'll definitely... We'll run this rack on this one. And then the chase rack on the tow rig. And I'm thinking for headlights... I got to put the red ones in this one, too. I think they look so good. Well... No, I'll have I'll have the normal ones on this one. And then this, well, and actually it doesn't interface with that either. So it's going to get the right and left pods. And then, ooh, we got a pretty decent wheel selection. Though. Oh, the methods look amazing. It's got to be that bronze, man. It's got to be that bronze. This one, the setup on this one is going to be bronze with like that deep red. Oh, wow. That looks insane. All right, let's see how the flex is on this particular lift setup, because I'm not sure which one is the flexy one, but it's actually going to be interesting to go through the different options anyway and test them out. So let's bring you up here real quick. See how this one does. Oh, wow. Okay, I think I, I, think I chose correctly, because that is insanely flexible. Like, that is wildly flexy. That sound, though. I cannot get over how good this thing sounds. All right, let's bring you up onto the trailer real quick. Stop you right there. Well, we actually got it, like, perfectly positioned as well. Okay, so as you can see, it's definitely weighing that truck down a little bit, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up, get the ramps up, and then raise that rear suspension. Oh, now it's perfectly level when towing. All right, we're going to go ahead and haul this thing out to probably a trailhead just to see how it tows. But let me drop into that interior view real quick. What? Holy mind-blowing. Look at this interior. That is... That is beyond anything I've ever seen in this game. The actual quality of that interior is just like... I don't know how you would get to that level of quality. Like, much less how much RAM this thing uses. Wow. All right, let's get into the power. And boy, does it sound good. All right, a little bit of a trailer brake real quick. It moves out when you put it in high, but not so much that it's like over the top. And that's another really nice thing about the whole setup is that like when you throw it into high, it goes, yes, but it doesn't try to, like, you know, stop the Earth's rotation or rip the ground at... Well, maybe it, uh, it does if you really get into it like I did there from, like, second or third. But going up hills, it's awesome. 
Especially if you're like, you ease in like into the throttle and then back off of it when it starts to get a little squirrely. What I love about it too is that it does an amazing job of keeping the front axle on the ground, it, like especially when it's towing. Amazing job. Wow, that's an amazing job. Now, I think the best place for us to take this, um, take this setup to, to give it a quick rock crawling test with the other one, is gonna be to take it to the rock bridge. Now, I know I've got some Baja style tires on there, and so I'm not sure how they're gonna do on the rocks, but I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for the best that they do well, because we're gonna have to take this thing back out into kind of a desert scenario, Baja scenario, a little bit later on down the road, so we can really put that Baja setup to a real test. Let's go ahead and pull up. Ramps are coming down. Engine off. And oh, I said, oh, okay. I was like, why the heck won't it let me change trucks? Now we're going to start up this version. Back you down. I probably shouldn't have turned right when I was backing off the trailer, but... Ah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Now this is a very long wheelbase truck, so... Taking it up over an obstacle like this is going to be interesting. We may or may not end up with some bumper damage. It's going to be a bit sketchy, that's for sure. That grip, though... Bro, I haven't even taken it out of, like, automatic mode yet. Alright, let's be careful here. Try to pick somewhat of a workable line. Scrape my bumper a little bit, but I feel like that's kind of to be expected, especially when I'm running the stock one. Hey, I know these tires were more of, like, a Baja tire, but they are not doing too bad here at all. Now, that 90-degree drop is going to be bad. I can already tell you that because of how long this thing is, but that's not the truck's fault. That's that's just on me for taking it on a uh, on a particular course. All right, here's where it's going to be sketchy. Actually, bro, the wheelbase helps right there. The long wheelbase. I mean, we're about as long as a bus, but dang, if it if it didn't help, it helped a ton. All right, I'm gonna ease you through there. I could listen to this thing all day. It provides one of the most incredible soundtracks to just about anything that you could ever drive in this game. Oh, got the bumper hung up pretty bad. Let's see if I can find just a little bit of grip. Nope. All right. New plan. New plan, and that is, like, slam the grill into the other rock. Nice plan, Tomcat. Nice plan. Can you find something? I just need the tire to bite. There we go. Alright, let me ease it backwards. Ooh, I would have just destroyed that rocker. But again, don't worry about it. Gotta turn into that roll. Because, like, if I don't turn into it, it will go over. Now, granted, that is quite real realistic, though. So, I'm glad that it actually is tuned like that. But, man, what a wild truck to drive. Just both from the standpoint of, like actual driving dynamics down to the customization because I know that we didn't spend a huge amount of time in the customization but you could spend forever customizing this thing like it is like honestly just about as much fun to drive as it is to customize and it's like it's wild for a truck to be kind of on the same level on both of those fronts but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on this video and this truck in the comments down below and if you're new around here and you would like to see more make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on and I will see y'all next time talk to y'all later